even though Sri Lanka is considered to be the most desirable island in the world, there's one thing this paradise is luckily missing. Volcanoes. To build a realistic mini version, I had to do some serious research on how they look like, what are the elements, colors, behaviors and the list goes on. Clouds and clouds of smoke, fumes all around, lava flowing. I think I'll have to pay attention to a lot of details this time. Most of the tutorials I found on YouTube were basically 9th grade school projects. Wildwood Wonders is all about creating wonders. I thought I need to deliver something more than that. First, we need a sample volcano. I split the entire project into 4 key sections. Smoke cloud, fumes, flames and lava, and finally appearance. I wanted to make sure that I grab all the information so I spent a lot of time searching for videos. I'm using a plastic bottle, a cardboard box and some paddy. I figured out hot glue is the best medium to stick all together. I tried with no color additions and it came out quite nice. Can you spot the fake cloud? There it is! What I exactly wanted was some ashy smoke cloud. So I decided to soak some padding in diluted acrylic paint. I'm using this yellowish padding because there could be gases like sulfur dioxide in the smoke. And grey, obviously right. Blending them unevenly will give you a much more realistic look. By far the most abundant volcanic gas is water vapor. I'm using this humidifier mist maker to, well, yeah, obviously to make mist, no? And I ordered this module for just under $5, which is a good deal. Let me quickly show you how this works. Plug in the power source and boom. Boom? Boom, boom? Seriously? Luckily I found these two points and managed to bring her back to life. We need a plastic container and some cigarettes. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Say hello to cotton sticks. I need the board to be here and we need holes in here. Here, here, and here. <laughs> Quick question, how are you gonna put water in there? Well, you, you open the lid and, uh, oh. Uh, okay. Boom! Here you have a snorkel. Time for a test run. <sighs> There's always this one guy who doesn't show up for the trip in the last minute. Anyway. With these plastic tubes, I'm building the smoke distribution channels. Mm, okay, but this isn't what I was expecting. 
That looks like my ex-girlfriend's exhaust after driving in the floods. <sighs> I need some active smoke coming out of the surface just like this. Ah, this is testing my patience. So you're gonna give up just like that? Let's try one more time. That's more like it. The center of an erupting volcano is always animated. To get this effect, I ordered this USB lamp for just $3. Yeah, I had to ruin another cup from my mom's kitchen. I'm using the free... Uh, why can't we plug in this USB on our first try? Anyways, I'm using a free USB cable to power the LEDs which I'm using to illuminate lava. And on this side I have an opening for this unit to distribute the mist over the back of the volcano. I was restless in desire until I figured out a way to imitate the lava look. But before that, we need a solid frame inside the volcano. For this, I'm using 2mm cardboard strips to build a structure to get the basic shape of a mountain. Remember these LED strips from the infinity mirror? Since all the LEDs in the strip are unidirectional, I had to stick them with twists and turns. Well, that looks more like a thunderstroke. How am I supposed to get this color? Nope, not there yet. Aha! This was the most challenging part of the project. Finding the right combination of material, colors and techniques wasn't easy as I expected. Followed by a lot of research, I thought these discarded pieces would be of great use. The rocks were way too acute, so I gave them some heat to get them into the shape. Color of the surface above magma is mostly black. Based on these images found, I decided the foundation of the makeup should be black.
but the rocks aren't entirely black, they need a sandy grey touch. Instead of using paint, please welcome Mr. Simen. Now to get the cracked lava texture. I did an experiment with tissue papers to diffuse the light and some cellophane paper on top. Some tiny brush strokes in black might do the job. Final few touches and before we move on to the product reveal, a quick reminder to subscribe if you like the content. volcano could be devastating, yet such a beautiful sight to watch. Until next time, keep crafting, create wonders. <laughs>